Hey everyone, Leo Camacho here, and today I've teamed up with Corteva AgriScience, and we're at Comic-Con 2019 to develop the ultimate farmer superhero. Why a farmer? Well, they're the everyday heroes that the world needs more of, so we're gonna talk to some comic book enthusiasts and experts and see if they can help us cultivate an origin story for our hero. Let's go see what we can find. Farmer superhero. What kind of powers does he have? Maybe talk to animals. Ability to control the weather. Little drones to survey this area. What is he wearing? Lots of green. Something kind of basic. Sturdy boots. You have to have a lot of pockets. Does he have a sidekick? Does he have a team? Does he have a family? What's going on? A pig. <laughs> What's the pig's name? Someone. Gabe. Gabe. Gabe? <laughs> what kind of crops do you grow? Uh, carrots. Well, maybe like wheat or corn or something. So what is your farmer superhero name? Nature. Just nature, TM. Captain Cultura. Supergroup. No. Wheat Man. Cedar. Captain Combine. Do we have a name for the farmer yet? Roman? Roman! How about his super villain? What would his villain's name be? Anti ecosystem. Concrete Jungle Man or something like that or something. Concrete Jungle Man. Does he have a catchphrase that he yells? Um, I want to say, like, hold on to hope. Green Power! It's growing time! Sweet Harvest! All right, so with the help of fans, we've come up with some pretty creative ideas. But now let's go inside and apply some real science and actual technology to our superhero story. Let's do it. We're here with Trevor Stryber, a modern farming technology expert, and Dan Panoshin, an experienced and talented comic book artist. Together, we're going to combine art and science and bring our farming superhero to life. Let's get growing. <laughs> so our story begins on a beautiful farmscape. There's Grow Woman, Grow Boy, Grow Girl, and Grow Man, and they're all using modern digital devices to monitor the status of the farm. What might that look like in reality? They'll be getting satellite imagery daily. These satellites, they are essentially keeping track of uh, things like limited amount of water in certain places. Are they lacking uh, certain crop inputs that are very important, like nitrogen, or maybe problems with pests in certain areas? And the satellites can capture all of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you can essentially tell whether or not your crop is growing like it's supposed to uh, from, from the sky. What is the family going to look out for and what would cause them to go into high alert? You'd be looking at your imagery from today and it would look different than yesterday, right? And there would be some changes in color. Have you, so you decided, you've committed to what they look like. Yeah, the young girl has the best fashion so far. Dad definitely has the sturdy boots. These superheroes generally have these knee pads. Yeah. My favorite answer was that he would have a sidekick that was a pig. A pig. Yeah, named like Gabe. That. Named Gabe. Named Gabe. Specifically. But like you said, uh, actually off camera, you were saying that every great hero needs a great villain. Yeah, they're all judged by their villain. They're all judged by their villain. Yeah, if you have, a, if you have an easy villain that's not a problem to vanquish, then you're not much of a hero. So the villain we're going to go with is actually a corn boar, which is what they're actually called. It's a, it's a little caterpillar. I think like corn boar is a villainous name, but this corn boar, it means business. Might be a mutant corn boar. Is he gonna just be gi a giant corn boar or does he have gear as well? He's got a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, isn't that what you were yeah. thinking when you were <laughs> imagining it? How did he know? What do we need to know about corn boars? They have been evolving. That sounds absolutely terrifying. Whenever you hear that in a comic book sense, that's like a warning sign, so I'm nervous. They have been evolving. Also, we had a catchphrase question. Maybe my favorite overall, but hold on to hope. That's a very broad message. Well, what's funny is I always make the expressions of the people I'm drawing. So if you're watching me draw, it could be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so she is starting to send out the drones. She's already on it. I love her confidence. The technology backs her up. How fast is this technology developing, would you say? We're at this point where uh, software has like joined the battle and we're using machine learning, artificial intelligence, drones, satellite imagery, all kinds of sensors out in the field. We're at the forefront, the vanguard, and trying to make sure that farmers have all the tools that they need to be successful. They really caught corn borer by surprise. This is a tough panel, but we're going to do it. You're not giving up. Much like uh, these farmers, I'm not going to give up at all. All right, well, thanks to the fans here at Comic-Con, our farming tech expert Trevor, and our artist Dan, we did it. We created a full story for our superhero. 
And I think we've proven that innovative technology is allowing farmers to become those everyday superheroes that we so deserve and need. Hold on to hope and keep growing.